Coming up on This Week in Torrance, just in time for summer, find out who's offering swim lessons that won't cost a fortune. Then the local DMV is changing its hours to better serve the community. We'll tell you more. Plus, want to know where the top three rated destinations are in Torrance? We'll tell you coming up. And a local brewery is offering more than what's on tap. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. And I'm Jin Chun. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. Mayors all around the country are headed to Hawaii this week, including Torrance's very own mayor. For the first time since 1963, the United States Conference of Mayors will hold its annual meeting in Honolulu. Torrance Mayor Patrick Fury will also be there to discuss a wide variety of priorities that contribute to the overall health of America's cities. Mayors will also consider and adopt policy resolutions that guide the advocacy agenda of the organization. Mayor Fury will discuss a best practices presentation on teaching young people about local government for a session on empowering America's youth through civic involvement. Torrance has a youth council, which is an advisory body to the city council on matters that involve them. This will be the 87th annual meeting to take place with more than 200 mayors from across the country. Local teens are spreading awareness about mental health thanks to a project funded by the state. Is it just me or does Claire never eat anymore? Four public service announcements were created by Torrance teens involved at the Attic, the city's after-school teen center. The teen mental health project was called Mind Your Health. Topics of anxiety, eating disorders, depression and self-harm were included in the videos. It was made possible thanks to equipment funded from the California State Library. Teens wrote scripts, acted, filmed and even edited with some help from Attic staff. Along with the PSAs, there were three book discussions and meetups to connect students together. There's also a teen mental health resource website available as well. You can go to torrentca.gov for more information. The Torrance Art Museum is now one of the top three destinations to see in the city. 3bestrated.com announced that TAM made it to the top. Their team updated the listing using its 50-point inspection, which includes everything from checking, reputation, history, complaints, ratings, satisfaction, location, trust, cost, and overall excellence. Western Museum of Flight and the South Coast Botanic Garden are also in the top three. 3bestrated.com has a goal of finding the top three local businesses, professions, restaurants, and healthcare providers in any city. They help 1.7 million customers every month to find the best. A local congressman has moved his district office. Former Torrance council member and now Congressman Ted Liu has a new Los Angeles district office in West LA. His Manhattan Beach office will still be open, but only for appointments. The building will also host the offices of other Los Angeles city officials. It's located at 1645 Corinth Avenue and is next to the 405 freeway and just blocks away from the West Los Angeles Veterans Affairs Medical Center. The Department of Motor Vehicles located in Torrance is one of many offices taking steps to relieve long lines. The DMV, located on West 220th Street near Western Avenue, is now open one hour earlier to better serve its customers. It is one of 52 DMV offices across the state making this change. Officials say the long lines are due to people applying for what is being called a real ID. For those who don't have a passport, a real ID will be required to fly beginning October 2020, the DMV offices with new hours will be open, will open their doors beginning at 7 a.m. every weekday except on Wednesdays. And on Wednesdays, the office will open at 9 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. And don't forget the DMV is also open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill into law recently that will make cell phone use at California schools much stricter. A bill authored by Assemblyman Alamort Suchi encourages California school districts to develop and adopt policies that limit or prohibit students from using cell phones on school grounds during school hours. Now, some exceptions include emergencies or permission to use by school staff and allowing students with special needs to use it. Evidence shows that unrestricted use of smartphones at stu by the students at schools lowers academic performance, promotes cyberbullying, and contributes to teenage mental health issues. 
This next event is something you'll want to mark on your calendars. The large summer Japanese festival is returning to Torrance and you won't want to miss it. The Bridge USA Festival takes place on July 13th and 14th at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. There will be one-of-a-kind performances, exhibits, Japanese food, and more than 60 booths. They will have kimonos on display and for sale, along with souvenirs, live music, and even a traditional makoshi parade. This year, they've expanded the event to make it a two-day festival. The hours on Saturday, July 13th, are from 5 to 11 p.m., and on Sunday, July 14th, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. A local organization is making an effort to ensure kids in the community are safe in the water while having fun. The Tour in South Bay YMCA Safe in and Around the Water program is returning for a week. The national program is designed to show children and parents a unique way YMCA teaches swim lessons. They will learn how to improve their stroke, get educated on water safety, and above all, have fun. Online registration for non-members and members is open now. You can also walk in and register on July July 11th, the five-day program costs just $20. According to the Academy of Pediatrics, swim lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by 88%. Officials say the best way to keep your children safe is not by keeping them away from the water, but to prepare them with necessary water skills. The Y has swimming programs year-round for all ages. The week-long program begins on July 22nd and runs through the 26th. Well, still ahead, hundreds enjoy the first movies in the park. Plus, a local brewery is expanding their menu and now offering more than just their brews. We'll tell you more. Queen is just my everything. Right now, I wouldn't know where my life would be without her. They say chivalry's dead. It's not. Terrence is a gentleman. He opens doors. His smile did it. His smile, his eyes, his knowledge. My landlord, he decided that he wanted me to move based on the fact that I was transgender. It takes me to a place of no hope. It takes me to a place of loneliness. It just, it saddens me. When you discriminate against somebody in housing, where do these people go? Let's just respect people in everyday life for just being human. The city hosted its first movies in the park experience. Families gathered at De Portola Park with their lawn chairs, blankets, and snacks to get comfortable for the showing of Trolls. More than 200 moviegoers attended to enjoy the animated movie. Many audience members had the opportunity to get their hairspray painted in honor of the movie. Torrance police officers on bike patrol were also there, giving them an opportunity to meet and greet with the community. The program is a partnership between the Community Services Department, Recreation, Parks, Library Services, and the Police Department. The next two movies in the park showings will be The Incredibles 2 at McMaster Park on July 27th and E.T. at Hickory Park on August 31st. If you thought you'd have to travel all the way to Great Britain to experience authentic English pub food, think again. Yorkshire Square Brewery in Old Town Torrance opened a new restaurant within its brewing facility called Snap Tin Eatery. British expat Gary Croft opened his brewery back in May of 2017. His original intent was to offer the cuisine he missed from his hometown of Yorkshire, but he wanted to focus on perfecting the beers first. He recently hired executive chef Bruno Wu to bring his full vision to life. Wu has created a menu that puts a SoCal twist on classic favorites such as fish and chips, bangers and mash, and scotch eggs. What we wanted to do is to find uh, restaurant partners, which we have done, that would take a look at the menu and build the core of the menu on British pub food which is absolutely pairable with, with, with British Cascale. It goes incredibly well with it. Chef Wu's resume includes work at the famed Katsuya Restaurant Group, 
He's also worked to incorporate the brewery's award-winning Cascales in the menu. Cascale has a lower alcohol and carbonation content than American beer. It also has a smoother, bolder taste. Yorkshire is one of only two breweries in North America to receive a cask marquee designation. Yorkshire Square Brewery and Snapton Eatery are located at 1109 Van Ness Avenue. Visit the website YorkshireSquareBrewery.com for taproom hours. We will have the full story and take a closer look at their food next week. The Torrance Certified Farmer's Market is always in stock with the latest seasonal produce, and this week was no exception. There you'll find a variety of top quality products from more than 60 California farms weekly. If you stop by the market this summer, corn, stone fruit, tomatoes, and peppers will be available, along with melons and grapes. Stone fruits include nectarines, pullots, and peaches. On July 13th, there will be a Cal Fresh EBT food demo by registered dietitian Christina Cook, who will teach customers how to eat healthy with a food budget. The Torrance Farmers Market takes place at Wilson Park every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., rain or shine. Health officials are asking people to stop eating papayas. Fresh papayas from Mexico are now part of a salmonella outbreak. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration are warning con consumers in six states to not eat the fruit. Now, while California is not included, distributors, restaurants, and retailers across the country are being asked to stop serving papayas from Mexico during the recall. There have been 62 reported cases since January. And with summer here, many are hitting the beaches and pools to cool down, but you may want to do it with caution. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is warning people about a fecal parasite called cryptosporidium that is on the rise. It can live in treated water Pool water for up to a week ingesting the parasite can cause diarrhea for as long as three weeks. Cryptosporidium is one of the most common causes of recreational water illnesses in the United States. If you are heading to a public pool, stay out of the water if you have diarrhea. Shower before you get in the water and don't swallow the water. You can learn more about this illness at cdc.gov crypto. A popular razor brand recently recalled more than 87,000 of its products due to potential dangers. Gillette says that because of manufacturing issues, customers could have a higher risk of getting cuts when shaving. The company is recalling Venus Simply 3 disposable razors. They say the increased risks of lacerations is caused by a misalignment of the blades during the manufacturing process. The recall affects two different packages, including a Venus Simply 3 disposable razor 4-pack and a Daisy 12 Plus 1 Venus Simply 3 bonus pack. Now, if you have bought either of these products, you can contact Gillette for a postage paid uh, return label to return the razors and receive a free voucher for a replacement. For more information on the recall, go to cpsc.gov. And before we go, let's check in with Leslie Robbins on the Sports Desk. Hi, Leslie. What do you have for us? What's up, Jin and Ben? Coming up on the Sports Desk, the USA men's water polo team is here in Torrance training for their ultimate goal, the Olympics. Tokyo 2020. The Salsa women's soccer squad is home and we are there. Plus, a former Bishop Montgomery basketball star gets to play ball with the pros and West High Girls B-Ball brings it in summer. Be sure to watch every day at 4 and 9.30. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks so much, Lastly. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. And I'm Jin Chun. We hope you have a safe and happy 4th of July holiday. Be sure to tune in next week as we take you to the Toyota Sports Complex for all the fun. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.